Okay, Katie. Have you ever been in an instance where you spent money on a concert ticket or a ticket for a music festival where that money should have been spent on something else, maybe a car payment or your rent or something of that nature? Yes. And why was it so important that you went to that concert or music festival? Well, one music festival was um, when I lived in St. Louis. It was in Memphis. And one of the bands was doesn't really go to anywhere else that I've lived, like, doesn't really tour in the South, and the tickets were a lot cheaper than they usually were, and it was sort of an up-and-coming band, so now, if you just went to go see that band by themselves, and we went to a three-day music festival, mm -hmm. it would be way, it would be as much just to see them, the one band, rather than go to three days. Oh, okay. So, I felt like it was more economical to... <laughs> Pay for the three right. days instead. So. so there's definitely been some instances where you're really devoted to one band and you might be willing to go to more lengths to see them then. Yeah, especially if a band is um, like not touring again for a few years or if the singer or band is older and they might die. <laughs> or, <laughs> or if um, they hadn't been around before and like this is the first time that they're coming back. Okay. So... Okay, perfect. Oh, I forgot the other thing I was going to ask you. What was it? Uh, oh, oh um, yeah, the indie. Okay. Yeah. So I've noticed that sometimes in Austin it's really important to kind of be up to date on the most recent bands, even though sometimes those bands are really obscure and not so well known. Have you ever been in an instance where you've had to pretend or maybe fake to know about a band or about an artist or singer or something like that? that you didn't really know, but you had to pretend to know to fit in or to save face? Yes, that's definitely happened in conversations with people, especially when everyone in the group knows the band, and you're <laughs> the only one. You usually go, yeah, yeah, right. me too. Um, or if someone invites you to something where everyone seems to know what they're talking about, but mm -hmm. you don't. I go along with it usually. And um, one time in particular, I was at a party that I didn't know anyone, and I saw a guy with um, a band t-shirt on, and I was like, oh my god, I love that band. And um, I didn't know them at all. I hadn't heard any song that they'd ever sung, and we started to discuss them, and I just agreed with everything he said, and he <laughs> totally bought it. So, <laughs> you make friends that way, I guess. Perfect.